And that's talk winners and losers on Wall Street. Rob Black joining us as always to help us decipher what we're seeing in the headlines this morning. Hey, Rob. Good morning, James. Happy S and P 500 hits 4,000 day. Yeah, Woo! I'm looking at that right now, and still above 4,000. That's good news. It's good news. It's it was lower when I was a kid, and it seems to work higher. It shows me that capitalism is still alive and well. It's still the best vehicle to fund our retirement accounts. So I'm happy. Maybe a little too happy because that two trillion dollars stimulus is pushing the markets higher. Um, plus another two trillion, maybe in infrastructure around the corner. Down the road, we're going to be sad because of taxes. And that'll be a buying opportunity instead of a get out of the market forever kind of angle. Jobless numbers today were not good. People get an unemployed over 700,000, still twice as much as it should be. Um, but in really good news, it's National Burrito Day. And I'm not making it up. It's the first <laughs> Thursday of every April. $100,000. No, okay, let me fix this. Yeah. Chipotle is doing a contest. It's burritos or bitcoin.com. Burritos huh. or bitcoin.com. And you can win $100,000 in burritos or $100,000 in Bitcoin. I think that's genius. <laughs> and right after I get off the show, I'm going to go see if I'm a winner or a loser. But you got to guess a six-digit code to win, I think, is how it's played. Burritos really? or Bitcoin.com. All right, I'm going to check that out and enjoy yeah. a burrito today. I didn't realize it was burrito day. Thank you very much for that. Uh, you mentioned um, the president's infrastructure plan. We're starting to get deeper into the nuts and bolts of it. And uh, you noted in here that it's got quite a bit of money set aside for electric vehicles going forward. That's good news uh, for California. We're sort of leading the charge on that. Yeah, and if you're an investor, what I'm trying to hint at, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, poke, poke, this could be huge. We're fighting a war against gasoline and oil cars. Uh, $174 billion are going to be put into this infrastructure angle. Joe Biden drives a 1967 Corvette that he got from his father, so he's he's a muscle car guy. Nope, he's all about electric vehicles. 2% of cars sold in America right now are electric vehicles. That's going to go up to 50, 60, 70, 80. That you can make a lot of money on, James. We're in the early, early stages. There's 100,000 gasoline stations right now. There's 41,000 charging stations. Not enough. He wants to get it up to 500,000 so he can compete more effectively with the Chinese as far as being a clean energy mm. uh, nation. And there's going to be a lot of money to be made there, James. I'm, I'm still very optimistic that that's exciting news to see how much money being going into EVs. Not that often that you see the, the ground floor of this giant industry uh, that we're watching form before our eyes. Yeah, it's going to be fascinating to see how that grows over the years to come. And also, too, on the tech side of things, I'm a big fan of augmented reality. I think that's going to find its way into consumer devices down the road. But it looks like Microsoft and the U.S. military are also making a big bet on that, too. Yeah, Microsoft became famous in the 1970s when IBM didn't want to make an operating system. So they said, you guys can do it. And they let Intel make the semiconductors. The rest of the story is history. Now, the Army's doing the same exact thing by giving Microsoft a HoloLens contract. Where I got to look at my notes real quick. Integrated Visual Augmented System, IVAS, so that our soldiers will have more information. It looks like a big computer on the forehead hmm. with the lens coming down on your eyeballs. It looks kind of cool. Now, again, there's a lot of money to be made in the future of this because right now none of us are really using it. I know some kids are using Oculus Rift, Facebook, great investment for long term. I would buy that today. Microsoft, I think, is a great long term name. And Apple, the rumor is that the Apple Glass product is ready. But is it ready to be rolled out during a pandemic year where they can't get all the flash, the people, the, the events? Maybe. But that's the reason Apple goes higher. It's going to be a $3 trillion company with augmented reality. Hmm. The whole segment just got richer, um, James, because when you throw that kind of money into it, the R&D gets more grand hmm. and the cost will come down. So I'm not a big, you know, let's go fight wars in the 21st century, gung-ho military right. guy. But I see this as big. It's like the U.S. government's putting the big investment dollars in, and hopefully we'll all benefit with consumer products down the road. Fascinating Facebook, stuff. Microsoft, and Apple. They're yeah. the platforms. Okay. Rob, fascinating as always. Thank you so much for uh, joining us once again this morning. Have a good weekend, sir. You bet. You too. We'll see you next week. Send your questions to Rob. Reach out to him. Facebook, Twitter, we've got his handles there. You can email him directly, and you can always catch him on our website at cronford.com and catch up on past